Hey there guys, here it is the tutorial. You won't believe how simple this is. This is uh, my version currently that I'm using is the 8334 as of the 6th, sorry, the 8th of the 7th, 2019. It's the very latest build at the time of doing this video. So, you know, this will apply to, for the later builds as well. So if you get to see this and there's later builds, of course, that's probably what's going to happen. Um, it doesn't matter as long as, you know, you've got a working version of RPCS3. Now, I'm going to give you an example of how I do what I do. Right click. Now, let's have a look at configuration of Batman Arkham Asylum. All right. Now, that's how it comes in as, um, you know, I'll just keep that the same because that's the default auto save for all, all this, you know, palaver. GPU, mine's a RTX 2080. Um, it's overclocked to 4.97 gigahertz, but I've just got my PC running in high performance mode. That's another tip for anybody. Um, if you right click the bottom here, go to power options, additional power settings. See what I mean? High performance is checked. Make sure that's checked. If you got a oh, power saver or balanced, you're likely to have, you know, poorer performance from the games. Right. Let's get out of that one way. Right, so this is my renderer, Vulcan, um, resolution, resolution scale 300%, that's 4K, right color buffers, audio, enable the time stretch and take it to about 85%, make sure both of them are checked, because of, when it comes to doing this, you slow the game's process down. Now, not all games, perform the same way when I do this okay so I'll get more into that as the video progresses emulator itself I've uh, put you a nice performance overlay so, so you can see what's going on debug the debug menu um, go, we go to your folder where your RPCS3 is hang on I'm gonna be as, as um, what's it as I can Current settings. I'm going, where are we at? Yeah, see that me meter there, meta. Show debug tab. Normally that comes out as false, so just change it to true and then save it, okay? Excuse my story, man. Uh, <laughs> I've got so much to cover here, and I, I really don't want to miss anything. You know, I don't want to miss anything out. So if you want your debug menu, that's how to do it, okay? Hope oh, you understood that. Right, so that's how my Batman game is um, is set up. So let's turn it on. Just bear with me a minute while it boots up. Now you can see I'm getting 29, 30 frames a second. Now we're going to open Cheat Engine. Okay, we're going to find the RPCS3. You don't have to actually find, there's the game itself. You do, all you have to do is find the uh, RPCS3 running in the background. Open it and enable, ignore that. Open it, enable it to 0 0.5, so you've got to have the speed. Watch what happens to the counter. It stays the same. The game slows right down, as you can probably hear and see that it's like everything's moving slowly, like the leaves blowing by. Um, 30.01, 29.99. All right, and I'm thinking, well, let's let's slow it down a little bit more. Apply. I'm thinking, what the hell is this with 30 FPS? Would it, actually, would it really kill it to run any faster? God's sake, you know. So I come up with the idea of running another instance of Cheat Engine. And I, for some reason, I really don't know why this happens when you when you enable this one we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> bump the speed up a little bit I'm gonna quickly press apply then press apply again now look at the speed FPS now if you record this video at 60 frames a second and play the game slowly like I'm about to do now when I uh, Put the game through Sony Vegas. I speed it up to twice the speed, and uh, I correct the audio as best I can. 
it, sometimes the audio doesn't turn out too well um, but sometimes it sounds all right so you just uh, use various pitch correction plugins which I will link in the description that you can use in Sony Vegas it's got to be 64-bit um, VST or VST plugin and that stands for virtual studio technology I think it does a bit of a uh, Arkham Asylum here now the the cutscene here is is uh, 30 FPS but the gameplay will be at 60 even though it wasn't before okay now here's another example of what happens when I do this um, this is one game that I really wanted to work because I'm playing the hell out of this all the gameplays you've seen are not true ex uh, uh, 60 FPS they are interpolated videos but the uh, interpolated very cleanly you know otherwise I wouldn't do it because some interpolation methods leave a lot of artifacts on the screen you know trails from different things and it, it just looks shit but mine thankfully look pretty decent that's why I post them on YouTube but anyway let's go into the configuration of this game I'll show you what that is now that's just the default that if you want to pause the video do so now Okay, the GPU is an RTX 2080. Of course, whatever you've got is going to show up there. Vulcan. Automatic. Uh, disable the anti-aliasing. We have a 300% resolution scale, which is, in other words, it's 4K. Um, stretch the display area. I've just done that recently to try it. You know, it might, um, you know, it might benefit, it might not, but I don't think it's essential. What is, though, is right colour buffers. All right, audio. Now with this game, when I s slow it down, it's something different happens, you know, as opposed to Batman, Arkham Asylum, Aliens, and uh, Dead Space, and Killzone 2, you know? Something different happens. What I've done is I've not enabled time stretching because you, you'll see why in a minute. Emulator, now, I've just got a low level performance overlay on that one. The debug menu, as I've shown you before, how to put it up on your own screen, very easy to do. That one's checked, the force CPU blitz emulation. Okay. Um, I think I've covered everything there. That's how we roll with that particular game. But let's boot it anyway. Let's boot it up. I just hope it doesn't crash while I'm doing this because it's a <laughs> it's a proper pain in the ass when that happens. What you will notice about this one is you will see 60 FPS, but the game still runs at 30 frames a second visually, and it feels like it's 30 FPS. But at least it doesn't go below below 30 FPS, you know. Let's just let it load up. Oh, by the way, if you ever have any of these crash on you, you have to restart everything. Then you have to scan it again and find it again and do all the same again. Because if I hadn't have done that now, click apply, it wouldn't apply. You know what I mean? Right. Let's choose a fairly um, low... Let's go to... An easy one, bad ones, I like that one. Go to midday, medium. And let's choose the bikes only. Bear with me while I set this race up. I want something that doesn't really tax the computer too much. If it was all monster trunks, it, trunks, <laughs> trucks, it would be harder for the, the processor. Let's have that one. Now watch what happens when I try to enable the speed hack here. Showing 30 frames a second. Apply. Apply. And it's jumped right, right up to 61. Well, let's start the race. I 
as you can see it's still 30 fps but at least it's a smooth running game <coughs> excuse me nearly coughed and slowed me tea up there <laughs> at least it's a smooth um, running game and if you are playing this game on your own computer and it's not quite as powerful as mine then at least if you do this you'll get better frames per second and a better gaming experience let's uh let's jump over this hill i love this mate look at this it's spectacular Whee! let's land let's see if we can punch someone off the bike where are you going you little dickhead he's, he's got a mind of his own ah that's why but anyway that's that's cut my uh, enjoyment short and he's crashed anyway but as you can see it's 61 frames a second and uh but it's not actual 61 frames a second it's just you're able to play the game smoothly in other words so that's another effect that this method has on the rp cs3 playstation 3 emulator fuck you wacker <laughs> right go pimpy go no i'm talking fuck you then <laughs> anyway this is how i make my uh, gameplays look the way they do with this new method of of uh, discovered by accident you know you do you get you get to know a lot to do with gaming if you just experiment you know two instances of g engine one to slow down one to speed up and it has as you can see with the two gameplay examples both games react differently to this um emulator you know sorry this um g engine method okay so we've got this one let's turn it off we've got aliens colonial Mar oh, jesus aliens colonial marine works batman works borderlands 2 works i've not tried that one yet dead space works Killzone works, Killzone 2 works, Killzone 3 is, is pretty crap. Um, of course, Motorstorm, you've just seen what effect it has on that. New and Tasty, that works, even though it's a very buggy game and hardly runs. But when you can get it to run, you can get it at 60 frames a second. That one works. That one crashes, so I've not tried that yet. That one, I haven't even got the full thing, so it won't even come on. Uncharted works and Wipeout works but that you don't need this method for anyway just slow the process down and that's a 60 fps game anyway that's just to do with optimization but these games that you can't otherwise get to run at you know past 30 frames a second try this method and you should it should work for you if it doesn't work for you then don't shoot me well this is the tutorial i think you've been waiting for and uh Thank you for watching. I hope you understood it and here's some gameplay for you to enjoy. See you in the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for this interruption to your regular Contact the warden. Let him know what's happened. Don't make promises. <laughs> I'm in control of the asylum. You're not going anywhere I don't want you to. Understand? If you think I'll. Come on, Isaac! Get the hell out of there!